More conversions, this time conversions that involve weight. In the U.S. system, we know that one pound is the same as 16 ounces, and one ton is the same as 2,000 pounds. In the metric system, one gram is 1,000 milligrams, and one kilogram is the same as 1,000 grams. Let's use these conversions right here to see if we can convert uh, some units to other units. Here we go. Three and a half pounds to ounces. We want to do that conversion. Well, let's see. What I know about the relationship between pounds and ounces is this. One pound is equal to 16 ounces. So I'll use this equality right here to give me a conversion factor. How about if I do this? 3.5 pounds times, okay, I want pounds to divide out. I want to be left with ounces. Those will divide out, and what I'll have is one pound and 16 ounces. This is the number one right here. So I end up with 3.5 times 16. 3.5 times 16, uh, let's see, I think that comes out to be about 56. And then ounces. So 56 ounces, if I multiply 3.5 pounds times 16 ounces divided by one pound, the pounds divide out. Again, this is the number one, and that's the conversion factor that we use. The next problem involves the metric system. We want to change 1,578 milligrams into grams, and this is what we know. One gram is the same as 1,000 milligrams. So let's use this to do our conversion. We start with 1,578 milligrams. We want to multiply that by a conversion factor that will allow those milligrams to divide out because milligrams are in the numerator here. Remember, that's all over 1. And so I want to end up with just grams, so I want that in the numerator. I use this relationship and see that there must be 1,000 in the denominator, 1 in the numerator. My milligrams divide out, and so I end up with 1,578 times 1 divided by 1,000. That will be 1.578 grams. So changing 1,578 milligrams into grams, I end up with 1.578 grams. The next problem we're going to do involves pounds and ounces, and we want to convert to just pounds. Let's take a look. So I have 9 pounds, 4 ounces, and I want to convert to pounds. Well, all I need to do really is convert this ounces into pounds. So 4 ounces times, okay, I'll have a conversion factor that will allow my ounces to bite out and my pounds to stay. And what I know is that there is 16 ounces in 1 pound. Those divide out. And I end up with 4 times 1 divided by 4, 4 sixteenths pounds. That's the same as 1 fourth pound, which is the same as I'm going to convert to a decimal, 0 0.25 pounds. So this is what I have. 9 pounds, 4 ounces is the same as 9 pounds plus another 4 ounces. That 4 ounces converts into 0 0.25 pounds, so what I end up with is 9 point Two five pounds when I convert 9 pounds, 4 ounces, into just pounds. So I convert my ounces using these conversion factors. I end up with 0.25. I simply add that on. So 9 plus 0.25 is 9.25 pounds. And that's just a quick look at some of the conversions that we do in the metric system and in the U.S. system that involve weight.